I'm really surprised at how easy this was to set up. Um, I'll show you here. So this arm here comes laying down and there's just two screws and they're thumb screws and you just screw them in and you're pretty much ready to go. Plug in the power cable and the USB on the back and then yeah, you just turn it on and it's good to go. Like this is the easiest, I've set up three fiber lasers so far and this is hands down the easiest one. Um, it should be seen in the software. I've also got some of their software to try uh, I may try that first and then I'll try to get it working in Lightburn because I'm used to working in Lightburn. But yeah, like this thing's set up super, super easy. And it comes with nice, you know, like mounting plate deals and for the, the holes and you get tons of them and they're real nice. And this is like some kind of uh, cast aluminum, maybe. It's some kind of aluminum, maybe not cast, but it's really nice. Um, it's not magnetic because it's, you know, aluminum. It's still pretty heavy, but considering you know it's not steel or something it's, it's pretty light and everything's just like robust and beefy and i'm really happy with it it's got the auto focus you know your focus dots here even tells you right there you know your auto focus positions there so like i just moved that there and hit auto focus and i was just gonna play around on these business cards because they're pretty cheap make sure i got things set up and then we'll get a piece of steel out and you know go from there so let me get that going and we'll be back so I've already marked my machine because I got carried away with the settings, but pretty cool. It punched right through that business card like it was nothing. That's using their software. Let me show it to you here. It's pretty simple. Um, again, I'm gonna switch over to Lightburn, but yeah, I get it to focus there. It punched right through that. So now I know if I'm punching through the aluminum, make sure I've got it on some steel or something because now my machine is graffiti just a little. But hey, now it is mine, right? Um, Gosh, I'm already so happy with this thing. Let me get some other stuff on here and yeah. Let me get confident on this piece of steel here and then maybe we'll put my logo on my knife, my everyday carry. I absolutely love this thing. You can see where I've started to dial it in. I had to get the uh, X and Y axis to set the way I wanted. And now I've got that figured out. And I'm just playing around here with my initial tests. And that is, that is beautiful. These are so much better than the 20 watts. Um, if you're ever gonna buy one of these, get a 100 watt. Like, world of difference, world of difference. So much faster. Uh, I love this thing. So let me, let me let me screw around a bunch and I'll show you what I've done. I've been starting to experiment with kind of color here on this uh, stainless knife. On the right, I've sort of got a blue dialed in. The um, once the immediate left of that is what I'm calling deep and grave right now. Obviously, it needs work because you can see those lines. I'll probably come back in with like a black fill or something after. I got a slightly lighter blue, almost like black there over the knife maker's logo. And then I got this nice white on the side that I've done. What would you guys like to see? I really need to get some more stainless, like some sheet, so I can really dial in my colors and do some samples. Plus, it's like 40 degrees outside, so I need to get the garage warm and you know shut the door and vent outside and everything. But what would you like to see me do? Um, I'm just getting a feel for this laser. I really, really like that white. It's, it's nice and subtle. Kind of like that blue too. Really, I like this one as well. Just need to play with them some more. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? And there we've added my logo to my knife. Previously I had used their 20 lot laser to do this and I really need to get all this tape and stuff off my knife. So I did the X-Files logo and it's kind of okay. So now I'm gonna come down in here and I think I'm gonna do my ham radio call sign below that just to see you know how the depth compares. But yeah, there's my logo next to the Ontario knife logo. It's uh, much deeper. Theirs is just very much on the surface. And now, yeah, now I know this is for sure my knife. 
that's a lot better. Uh, it still needs a little cleaning, but I cleaned it up some. And you can see where I came in here and much deeper did my uh, call, my ham radio call, KD9TWC. My wife, coincidentally, is KD9TWD. We took our tests together. It was one of the first things we kind of did once lockdown was letting up. Pretty cool. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Like, that is so much deeper feeling. You can kind of barely feel that. This, like, was actually catching the microfiber cloth and <laughs> ripping off chunks of it. I love that. And, like, this didn't get hot at all, so I'm not worried about, like, the temper on the blade or anything. Um, I'm going to try one last thing in this video. I've got a hammer that I had done hammer time on with the 60 watt, and now I'm going to put my logo on it the same way I did that. And kind of see what that does. And then, yeah, I'll be back with some more videos for this once I figure out what I want to do with it. Um, at some point, I'm going to do a challenge coin. I just need to get some. I don't have any more right now. All the ones I had tinkered with with the 20 watt. So, yeah, let's try it with the 100 watt in the future. <laughs> Now, that's where I did one with the 20 watt laser last year. There's a video of this on the channel. But here we are with the 100 watt. And, you know, the coloring's not even because this was at an angle. I didn't get it level enough. That's my bad. Plus, the head slants a little right there, and I didn't realize it. Um, I could have compensated for that, but it still looks amazing. And, you know, that's going to fill in with a little bit of rust and dirt and schmutz. But it's not hot at all, it just came off. It did a real good job at absorbing all that heat and it's kind of hard to tell but it's in there really good and it just looks so nice like i can't wait to do this to all of my tools you can kind of appreciate the depth a little there but yeah like ah, i'm gonna have so much fun with this thing it's just that's amazing i i don't know i find these things just so cool like i thought the 20 watt was really cool I thought the first time I ever did metal with an infrared laser and just put a little oxidation on the surface. I thought that was amazing. Then I thought the 20 watt was the coolest thing ever. Now that I have this Monport uh, GA, which means it has the autofocus, 100 watt, it's a MOPA fiber laser. Like, oh, I played with this thing for about three hours now. Um, a lot of that was just kind of tinkering around, figuring out some settings and stuff, and then actually like getting to it. But it was real quick to set up. Um, I plugged it in, it came with a driver on the thumb drive that came with it, installed that on the thumb drive. They have their software. Um, you know, I showed you that. It, it's all right. I'm just more familiar with Lightburn, so I went to Lightburn. Uh, it's nice that they include some free software because some of the options out there for free software aren't very great, but Lightburn can be expensive. Um, if you're buying like a $5,000 laser, the license for Lightburn is probably trivial to you or at least something you can absorb into your business but if like you're a hobbyist and you put all your money into this then you got to buy another piece of software with you know a license it can sting a little so it's, it's cool that they include some free software so you can you know start tinkering around but i just i love this thing i can't wait to like do a challenge coin figure that out i'll have to get a bunch of them because i'm sure i'll mess up and just like graffiti all of my tools and who knows what else, like, I know I'm saying like a lot. I'm just excited and I'm really cold. I've been outside for three hours, four hours, and it's like 35 degrees. And then I was an outside earlier before that playing around with the drone. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments, like, what kind of things should I try with this? What, what do you want to see me do? Um, I just, everything metal is now at risk in my house of getting graffiti on it. Uh, I paid someone to design that logo for me because I'm terrible at designing vector graphics. I even took a class for it in college and it was just, it was so annoying and frustrating. It was just easier to pay someone. And I really like it. So I'm gonna put that on most of my tools, all of my tools. Um, maybe put my call sign on some stuff for amateur radio that I use for amateur radio. And yeah, like the challenge coins, I know that's real big. I guess I could do those and maybe make that a Patreon tier. I'll have to think about that. Um, yeah, but that's it's been the Monport GA 100 watt fiber laser. It's a MOPA fiber laser, and <laughs> I really enjoy it. Expect to see some more videos in the near future on it. This is probably my favorite laser now. Um, I appreciate the CO2 lasers. I have a Monport Mega right there that I need to set up and play with. 
Um, you know, it's CO2, and it'll be, it'll be interesting, but I'm really looking forward to this fiber laser. Taking material off of metal, you know, it punched a hole in the aluminum cards. Um, I like to use the stainless steel business cards in my wallet to keep one-time passwords on. So, you know, I can make new ones of those that are uh, more durable than the ones I had used where I was doing them on these aluminum ones and then they get all bent and, you know, the coating starts to come off. And it'd be nice to put those on the, the, like, thin kind of credit card thickness stainless steel ones so they're a little more durable. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.